It all began with a package. In that package was a book, a beautiful book, a book that was also somehow the Barnes and Noble YA Book Club pick for the month of May. Today we are going to be having a live discussion for They Went Left by my lovely guest, Monica Hussey. Hi, I'm Monica. I'm really excited to be here. Historical fiction? What? That never happens. <laughs> I was so excited. I had to celebrate. I had to build a blanket fort. Yep. This is good. Oh, yep. It didn't work. But before we get to that, I guess I should tell you about the book, right? Today I am going to be reading... Dun, 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 dun. They Went Left by Monica Hesse. This is a historical fiction young adult novel that just so happens to also be the Barnes & Noble YA book club pick for the month of May. And it's historical fiction, which just makes me so dang happy because I feel so represented in my favorite genre of all time. To get us started, I'll tell you a little bit about the book. Basically, this story takes place at the very end of World War II as a group of different people are trying to make their way home after the war. Some are looking for lost family members, some are trying to escape from their misdeeds, and they're all just looking to go home and find what is lost, and it's all about their journey to find that. I love a good World War II novel. This will probably be the 15th that I've read, but that's fine. I'm excited to see this unique spin on it where it takes place at the very end. And I've actually never read a Monica Hesse book before. <laughs> I know, especially because I've heard such good things about the girl in the blue coat. But anyways, I'm excited to get started and I thought we could start by building a blanket fort. I'm not good at camera angles. What is this? Oh gosh. We are um, at the front door of the blanket fort. And if you would like, you can come on inside. Okay, ready? Here we go. This is it. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my gosh, okay, yes, so. The blanket fort, um, it, it didn't work, it fell, it fell down, yep, yeah, it, it was like this and then it fell, yep, yeah, just let's go, oh, yep, it didn't work. Update, the blanket fort was a fail of epic proportions, so instead I'm going to sit in my reading chair and we're going to read They Went Left That Way. But I'm still being festive because I matched my scrunchie to the book. Right? Creativity points? Yes? No? Okay, I'm gonna go read now. So then the festivities began. I donned my Lucy Pevensey nightgown and sat down to read. And then fell asleep. Whoops, with the morning, I needed a nice jog. I eat too many carbs. And then, eventually, it was time to sit down and read again. And I discovered something I should have known from the beginning. This book would be sad. Hi. So, yes, read the first 50 pages of They Went Left So Far, and I really like it. I can tell that it's going to be one of those World War II stories that's really sad. I kind of feel weird saying like saying that um, but there are some World War II stories that I just feel like focus on different elements but this is like someone who is coming back from the concentration camp and already like dealing with hate from the people in her hometown in Poland um, this really striking image it's not a spoiler or anything but as soon as she returns to her old apartment which has been ransacked her neighbor puts up a Nazi flag in a little flower pot outside her door yeah I'm just taking a break now to do some errands and things but I'm feeling like this book is going to make me cry so yay I did housework I made coffee I did an insta story so I have been in my apartment for two months now and I was vlogging for a video that's coming up and I just realized that my apartment has like a light in the staircase. 
I've been thinking that I just had to go up and down in the dark ever since I moved here. Apparently not. I just thought I would share this revelation. Thank God for vlogging, right? <laughs> I made a Pinterest board inspired by the book because I have no chill. I tweeted some friends, and then I read more. Then I slept again. And if you ever doubted my devotion to this vlog, I proved it by dressing to match the book. Then I had two crazy days that I'd rather not talk about, but here's footage of a trip to the doctor. Hello. I would like to show you my face mask, okay? Teachers 2020, the ones where we quarantine. I got that for Teacher Appreciation Week. Really love it. Uh, if you can see, I got blood work done. Again, uh, they're testing my thyroid, which is super fun. Apparently, they thought I could have a thyroid problem when I came in with my anxiety. And then I get the results back, and my levels are like uh, four, almost five times higher than they're supposed to be. So they called me back immediately to get more testing done. And so this is the second day in a row. I've had a big needle stuck in my arm. Uh, but you know that that thing just happens. So there's a little update for you. And finally, I finished the book. Okay, so it's two, three days later. Um, I, my pupils are dilated currently, so I can't even tell if the camera's in focus. But anyways, hopefully I'll be able to use this. And I finished They Went Left by Monica Hesse. Whoops, it's naked. Okay, hang on. And I am giving this book 3.5 stars. Overall, I really enjoyed it. It was an interesting World War II novel in the fact that it took place in a part of World War II that I really don't know much about, which is the part after the war. So it, while we get kind of flashbacks to experiences that our main character has while she's in a concentration camp, um, what the story really about is about the process of going um, to a rehabilitation camp, camp, camp. What I really want to talk about is the ending twist. Oh my gosh. So I was getting near the end of the story and I was like, dang, there's only a few pages left. How is this person going to wrap up everything? Well, Monica Hesse did wrap up everything, but in an incredible way. There were so many twists. The ending was not at all what I was expecting. It was such a strange twist, but I really enjoyed it and thought it was nicely done and kind of sweet. If you read it, you'll know what I'm talking about. I was unhappy with how the romance turned out. Yeah, so overall, I think this is an excellent young adult World War II story. It's 3.5 stars because like, to be honest, I think at this point, I really enjoy a lot more exposition in my writing. This was very dialogue and inner monologue heavy, which, you know, makes the story very fast paced, but I like for it to be slower and I like for there to be more lush descriptions of things, but for a YA historical fiction, I mean, this is like top notch and it will be an ending that you will remember forever because it's so bizarre. But yeah, overall it was an easy read and it was very informative and I'm happy to have read it. And there you have it, another vlog ended. So if you like this video, be sure that you hit the like button. In the comments below, let me know if you plan on reading They Went Left by Monica Hesse. Uh, you can share with me your thoughts on historical fiction. I know a lot of you guys like it and a lot of you guys don't. You're kind of, none of you are kind of like in the middle at all. Um, so yeah, let me know what you thought about that and let me know if you want to see more vlogs. Um, especially in this kind of style. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. All right, that's going to be it for now. Thanks for stopping by.